Hi, I'm Jackson Crawford. I'm an Old Norse specialist. Back again this weekend in an unconventional location for me, I suppose. In the middle of a hard, long-term collaborative project which has consumed most of my time. So I thought I would do an easy video this weekend about something that I'm asked about from time to time, which is my handwriting. Um, my handwriting doesn't show up too much on this channel, but when it does, uh, it seems that I always hear from people about it. And uh, I think part of what has intrigued people is that since it looks kind of unusual, you know, is it somehow specially Norse? And the answer is kind of yes and no. Basically, the story behind my handwriting is, you know, I grew up just learning to write like anybody else in those ruled notebooks, and, you know, I didn't have any unusual kind of handwriting until I was in ninth grade and I had a set of Britannicas wherein I noticed that at the heading of each letter there was a uh, little display on the page of the shapes that letter had had in historical uh, hands, right, handwriting styles. And because I had this attitude that I think a lot of people have when they're starting to get enthusiastic about these things, about the study of the past, that something older was better, I decided that I would copy the oldest form of each letter that I saw. Although that wasn't necessarily one consistent style, it was still like as old as I could get, right? So I had this kind of weird unseal, insular, Carolingian mix, and um, I went to school with that and promptly was denounced by my teachers for writing stuff they couldn't understand because for example you know i was using that long s that looks more like an f to our modern eyes uh, for my short s did not work well and i started to kind of adapt it at that point right i liked the kind of older look um, i have a fairly steady hand so i can make my handwriting look pretty good even when i'm not really trying that hard so i thought well this is kind of cool i'm just just gonna you know, every time someone pushes back about a letter, I'll kind of compromise. And so I wound up with a um, kind of compromise writing system that then went through a couple more stages of evolution and influence. The next one was probably when I first saw the Beowulf manuscript, which must have been sometime a little bit later in high school. Um, before, I think it was on the internet. I must have seen it in a book. And I thought that looked really cool. I think it was actually hand B of the Beowulf manuscript. And so for a while, I imitated that directly. But then that was hard in some respects for people to read. So it kind of blended with the earlier style that I had adopted and then got kind of compromised too. And then for a while in college, I got into Unseal. And then, uh, you know, that fed in. Anyway, since the, uh, the Unseal thing in like 2004, 2005, my handwriting has been fairly steady, but has just sort of slowly, organically, naturally evolved on its own into what it is today, which still looks sort of medieval, but actually doesn't exactly match any particular medieval writing style. It's very much my own thing. Um, although, you know, you can tell from particular letter forms that it's uh, medieval inspired, for example, in the, the G, or the fact that I haven't dotted an I or a J since 1999. Um, you know, this is, it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing to me because not to get too personal, too real with y'all, right? But I can be, uh, I can have uh, some really conflicting, sometimes volatile emotions about my own career path, right? I often feel a lot of regret about pursuing such a weird career path and not really feeling that these the trade-offs that I made for it to try to be, you know, the old Norse guy uh, were worth it. So I don't keep a lot of things around me that remind me of medieval or Viking or, or Norse stuff. One of the few exceptions that's always there is my handwriting because I handwrite quite a lot. It's strange. I probably actually at this point really couldn't teach myself to write any other way. And I actually can write it pretty fast. It looks, you know, slightly different, but that's, I guess you could say, you know, Jackson Crawford fast hand or something. Um, it's always there, always a little bit of a reminder of where I've been and, uh, and, and of the, 
the time when I was, you know, an enthusiastic learner and, um, and of the fact that those people who are still, um, you know, maybe at those early stages just getting into the stuff and, and really enthusiastically diving into it, that those are my, my target audience. So it's, a, it's just a strange way in which my younger self kind of still resides with me. Although I also still hear my grandfather, you know, looking at my handwriting the first time after I had medievalized it in high school and saying, uh, you must have pissed away hours learning to write like this. Well, yes, Papa. And I've pissed away a lot of hours since. A lot of other things. But uh, it's stuck, and I assume it'll stick to my grave. It continues to evolve, but uh, I appreciate folks' kind comments about it. Um, you know, it's just how I write now. Well, thanks for your time and this odd personal aside, as I sometimes do on the weekends. I hope everyone out there is doing well. Patreon, thanks for your patience during a long, uh, weird period. And uh, for now, from beautiful Virginia, I'm wishing you all the best.